Motor Week is made possible by rockauto.com. Few recent safety advances have proven to be as effective as anti-lock brakes. But unfortunately, ABS is usually a very expensive option. It's really only available as standard equipment on the more upscale models. Until now, that is. This is the 1992 Chevrolet Cavalier, one of America's favorite workhorse economy cars, and now the least expensive car you can buy with standard anti-lock brakes. This is thanks to a new inexpensive ABS system devised by GM's Delco Moraine division. So we wanted to see how the latest in safety technology and Chevy's most popular family car fit together. Over the past 10 years, the Cavalier styling has evolved from square-jawed to mildly aerodynamic, although it still looks conventional. But with the present emphasis on safety and economics, styling may not be a problem here. The 92 Cavalier offers no new sheet metal surprises. Instead, Chevy's conservative compact concentrates on efficiency with a refined 2.2-liter four-cylinder engine. It's the same basic engine that's been under the Cavalier's hood all along but it now delivers 110 horsepower and 130 pound-feet of torque. That's about 10% more power than last year. Internal changes make the engine smoother and more efficient. The 3.1-liter V6 is standard on the Z24 and optional on some other models. While holding to its basic car image, our five-speed Cavalier's performance on the test track was still quite competent. Zero to 60 took a reasonable nine seconds. And the quarter mile was faster than cars like the base Mitsubishi Galant and Nissan Stanza at 16.8 seconds with a final speed of 81 miles per hour. Equipped with the optional FE2 sports suspension, our Cavalier RS handled pretty well, even if it demanded a lot of attention. There was plenty of tire scrub, but steering remained quick and responsive. Our braking test showed the plain Jane Cavalier at its best. GM designed a simpler, less expensive four-wheel anti-lock braking system to fit the practical nature of the Cavalier. The GM ABS-6 piggybacks on the brake master cylinder and uses three small electric motors to provide continuous pressure adjustment. And it works just fine. Stopping distances from 60 miles per hour averaged a short 118 feet. Pedal feedback is moderate and not unnerving. By comparison, our 1991 test of a Nissan Sentra with optional ABS returned a longer stopping distance of 126 feet. A recent bout with some nasty Maryland weather allowed us to put the Delco Moraine made ABS to the slippery street test. Again, the system gets a motor week thumbs up. On the open road, the Cavalier delivers a good economy car ride and equally fine mileage. EPA estimates with the 5-speed manual transmission are 25 city and 36 highway. Expect 30 miles per gallon in normal use. The Cavalier's interior gets the nod of approval for being most efficient and well assembled. The modern dash was new last year. Our car had the performance handling package that includes more gauges than expected for a family car. Getting into the Cavalier is usually without incident. However, keeping the seat all the way back and our car's optional tilt wheel up helps to avoid the typical small car squeeze. The cloth covered seats are comfortable and offer adequate support, although you do feel like you're going to slide off the front. A standard safety feature we liked at first, but later became an annoyance, is the automatic locking of all the doors when the car is put into motion. While driving, it is easy to reach the radio. We're glad Chevy placed it above the heater controls, which are a stretch. All controls work effectively. Although GM shifters have shown improvement over the last few years, this one feels notchy and is not very accurate. A three-speed automatic is an option. Storage space in the Cavalier is limited, but we appreciate the handy retractable drink holder in the dash. For a family car, the Cavalier four-door is best suited to a still-growing clan. Rear seat space is tight for adults. But our car's split-folding seat is handy for carrying long items. The trunk's 13.2 cubic feet easily accommodates a full set of luggage, but liftover is high. The base model Cavalier will appeal to family bean counters with its sticker price of $8,899. That's not much for a reliable car equipped with ABS. Our as-tested price was $11,935, still a very low price tag by today's standards. Hitting us just right is the Cavalier standard anti-lock brakes, increased horsepower, smart dash design, and overall good family car value. 
Striking a sour note in our car was the notchy shifter, unexceptional styling, and tight rear seat. With the advent of a standard anti-lock braking system in such a basic car as the Chevrolet Cavalier, it appears that General Motors is thinking more about customers' needs, which is what is needed to put U.S. car makers back on top. So how does the latest safety technology fit Chevy's most popular car? Like a comfortable pair of slippers.